Well, good evening. I'm Martin Tyner with the Southwest Wildlife Foundation. My beautiful wife, Susan, is uh, taking the video. And this is always a very exciting day for me. This is September 1st. And September is kind of like my Christmas. It is the first day of the what we call the falconry season, where I can actually take birds out and I can let them fly free and let them go hunting. Uh, today we're dealing with uh, quite a bit of breeze so that we may we may not be able to do as, as much as we want to do but since it's the very first day we're getting the, get, got to get everything loaded in the car and so the, the first thing that we have to make sure that we have is that we have our tracking system here and we have all the parts necessary we've got the receiver the antenna uh, the batteries the transmitters and so we've got all, all, all of the parts there for for the tracking system that's very important because she's gonna be flying free and uh, the tracking system is if in case something goes wrong and we need to track her down we'll be able to find her the tracking system works off uh, a, a, a smartphone and this this is an, an old Apple you know uh, Apple 6 that, that I use and and it works very well because the software for the tracking system uh, goes onto this phone. So we've got the phone and we've got the GPS equipment. I have got my hawking bag that, that I carry all of my supplies in and you, you always have to go through and make sure that you've got everything in the bag. It's very important because if you don't, you're in trouble. And so we've got the, uh, the interior bag in case she catches a rabbit. We have uh, her lure which is kind of a leather pigeon that we tie food on for her in, ca in case she, we need to call her back to us. So we've got that, those things there. I have got a bunch of extra parts in here. Um, you know, we've got uh, uh, toilet paper. We have extra, extra jessies and extra swivels and just all sorts of extra parts down in here just to make sure that we have everything that we need. We have her food for the day, and, th and this is uh, this is jackrabbit from a jackrabbit she caught last year, and so this is jackrabbit all cut up into tidbits for her. That goes uh, there in in the in that particular little pouch, and and then I also have, which is very very important, I, I also have another retrieval device. Um, again, you know we. This is the first day. She's not into the routine and, and everything, so we bring a lot of extra provisions. And so this is a dead pigeon on a string. And, and so this is, again, something that if uh, something's bothering her in the field and she doesn't understand, you know, she'll, she'll come to the pigeon if she won't come to my glove. So we always have extra stuff here. Uh, you know, er everything that I need to, to take care of her. Um, and be ready to go. We have these. These are my flushing sticks. They're just ski poles with the with the ends taken off and sharpened. And the, and these work really good for walking along. And I bring two, so Susan wants to use one. She certainly can. And what we use these for is not only to help support me as I'm going through the the brush, which is uh, a lot, but uh, also. It allows me to hit the bushes uh, to help flush out the rabbits that uh, that were going by. And so we've got both our, our flushing sticks ready to go. I've got her scale, so we're going to weigh her to make sure that she's the correct weight, so there won't be any surprises. I've got her hood. I've got a little tidbit of meat. I've got her glove, and now we're going to go get Belle. And uh, we're going to get a pretty good idea as to uh, what her her state is um, by the way she acts when I when I go to get her. <clears throat> and so we'll see how she acts. Of course, having me along won't help. Yeah, ha having Susan along, Belle's not going to be as uh, keen to jump up on the glove. So let's see what 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 Belle thinks about the first day of hawking season. Hey, hey. Hi. 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 Don't jump to it. No. 
know you want it. There's my girl. Okay. Well, that wasn't wonderful. It would have been better if she jumped, jumped immediately. So she's still a little bit hesitant, but that's okay. And let's go back and, and see what she weighs. So I have a really good idea as to what I can expect out in the field. I really wish this, the wind wasn't blowing, because that's, that's always an issue especially when you're starting a new season. You know, it's, it's not like um, a shotgun where the shotgun will do exactly the same thing uh, even though it's been sitting around for six months. That's not how this works. You know, these are animals and uh, they work much, much better when they're used to a consistent routine. And so the first day is always full of, of little trials. Let's see what she weighs. 150 grams on the nose. Now that's where she should be. 1,000? Yeah, 1,050 grams. That's exactly where she should be. So she is the correct weight as to what my predictions are. And the way we do that is <coughs> basically we weigh her after she's had all she wants to eat for a few weeks and and we see what her fat weight is <clears throat> and then we subtract from her fat weight somewhere between 10 percent and 20 percent and that gives us her flying weight and so ba basically the the thousand fifty grams is 15 percent so it's kind of right in between so it's kind of 15% uh, of her fattest weight that she can be. And so that should be pretty darn close to where we want her to be. So let's go ahead and get her in the car. So 15% less. 15% less fattest weight. Than, than what she is at her fattest weight. Now most of you know uh, that I drive the, the Subaru to do our wildlife rescues and wildlife educational program, uh, but this is my old, old Chevy Tracker. We call it the Hawking Mobile. And this, this is what we use to go out in the field with, and, and it's just, you know, it's, it's a very old, more than, it's more than 20 years old, it still runs good, and we don't care if we, if we get it scratched with sagebrush. We don't care if we get it muddy. We don't really, it's just an old beat up uh, vehicle that allows us to get out in the fields and, and uh, <coughs> do our thing. Well, let's start grabbing our equipment here. You want me to hold something? To, to make sure we got all we need. Okay. Something that'll absolutely ruin your day is when you get out to the field and you get ready to to get your bird flying and then you found you forgot something. I've got my zip ties. I remember the zip ties for the telemetry. So we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. We'll see you guys out in the field. jackrabbits and cottontails is we've got a, a strong north wind and uh, you know when, when it's her very very first flight of the season uh, she put her into a strong wind is a bad idea you know if we're toward the end of the season and it's windy like this there's there's no issue um, she's she's got a routine down she can handle it and there's there's no problem so unfortunately today 
we're going to do another day of creance training. The creance is this, this, basically this string. And what I'm hoping is we'll just do a, a short creance session and then, then tomorrow morning I'll be able to take her out and let her fly for the very first time. We'll get this out. No need for anything. We're just going to do a little training session. Hi, pretty girl. Come on to me. Another little training session. I'm sorry, sweetie. We can't go hunt hunting today because of the wind. So we'll just do a little training session, just you and me. That it's a beautiful, beautiful evening. It's just really sad that we can't have our traditional first day. Let's come over, come over this way a little bit more. On this side. Sue, we need to be on that side. Sorry. Definitely ready to go hunting. Look at those bushes blow. I know. If it wasn't for the wind, we'd be out chasing rabbit for I'm sorry, baby. Sometimes it's just the luck, just the way the weather is. Let's see if I can go faster. She's 
doing good. Oh yeah, no, she's she's perfect. She says, I'm ready to go hawking. I don't need that creance anymore. I'm ready to go do my thing. Huh, you're ready. You wanna go chase rabbits. If you noticed, you know, I don't give her a tidbit until she's done what she's supposed to do. So this kind of fly land on the ground, I don't give her a, a treat for that. that. That'll develop a really bad habit of sitting on your glove, jumping to the ground, expecting a treat. And then uh, jump back up on the glove for a treat. Um, and then jump back to the ground and uh, and then want another treat. Well, we don't do that. That's not appropriate. Well, I'm gonna give you a small meal because I want you to fly tomorrow morning. I do. I want you to go fly tomorrow morning. So we can go chase a rabbit tomorrow. Well, everybody hopes you have fun. I will be at the grooming shop tomorrow, so I don't get a tag along. But you and Belle have a great time. We will. I'll get that out of the way so the cars don't run over it. So anyway, that's what we do to get the hawk in shape, ready to go. These short jumps on the uh, on these on the string called a creance. Um, as you can see. I can't even run fast enough to get away from her because she's so excited. She's got that down pat. Uh, and so now it really is nothing but time to go out and chase rabbits, but with the wind that's blowing right now for, a, for the first time. And that's really kind of the secret for everybody that needs to understand. If you are a falconer, uh, there's, a, there's an old falconry saying, and, the, and it is never fly for the queen. And that's kind of the Murphy's Law of Falconry, never fly for the queen. And what that basically means is if, if you're not comfortable, if the conditions aren't right, if the bird isn't acting correctly, if there's something that just isn't quite jiving with, with you getting out to the field and flying the bird, don't. Don't take the chance. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's always tomorrow. There's always another day. And so even though, yeah, we didn't get to go hunting on opening day, but that's not a crisis. It would have been nice. But uh, you always want to make sure that, that you've crossed your T's, you've dotted your I's, and things are working well. Um, and as you see, everything's working well except the wind. And so hopefully tomorrow morning we won't have any wind and we'll be able to uh, <clears throat> get her out and let her go chase rabbits for the first time. Such a good girl, man.